Welcome to another round two series. I, um... I actually don't know if this is game one or game two. Let's check the bracket really quick to see which one of these players was the higher seed. Um, okay. Helping Brits is the higher seed and he's currently playing as Axis, so this is a uh, game one. Perfect. Game one happening right now. Helping Brits versus Volpine. Both of these players are members of Hearts of Iron. I believe they're both members of the Asian community. I want to say Helping Brits is Korean. Volpine's Chinese, I think. Paul has introduced me to both of these people separately, <laughs> but I... Not 100% on either of those things. Helping Brits has made a bit of a name for himself in the Code2.org community <laughs> with his tendency to snipe high profile players, in particular helping Hans, who he is paying homage to. Volpine also an excellent player, so this should be a good game. We're gonna see Helping Brits, Oster versus Volpine Soviets. Elite Troops, Mechanized Assault and Jaeger Armor versus Partisans, Shock Rifle, and Soviet Shock Army. We're gonna see a quite an early sniper out as well against a three conscript opening. That sniper will help him punish this super aggressive building control opening. That squad going straight for the building is not capping territory or utilizing shop blockers, so sniper is the perfect opening to counter that without just rushing the building yourself. And that squad risks getting wiped on retreat if they don't get out of there. If they retreat, that sniper will definitely get another shot off. This advancing squad needs to try and get that sniper away if at all possible. That squad just tanked a shot from the sniper so that they could jump back inside the building. This five-man squad may move to secure the building next. The sniper takes another shot. That sniper is getting so many quick kills. This is a really rough opening for Volpine already. More conscripts charging straight for the center. He's barely taking territory at all. Just going for maximum aggression here. And the sniper is going to be racking up kills easily because of it. Oh, sorry. God damn it. Forces are securing our territory. I'm the best around. Okay. Our lines of supply are disrupted. Do you see? I'm... That's everyone. Ready. 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 Sniper up to five kills in three minutes, and he has not stopped firing. Five conscript opening for Volpine, by the way. <laughs> He wants to punish that sniper opening by just getting tons of infantry and maybe looking for flanking opportunities, just swarming the field with conscripts. No upgrades, no reinforcement even. Okay, there's the reinforcement. But no upgrades, just five cons. Now, this isn't Paul Gaddafi. Paul's already in another game with somebody else. <laughs> Paul and Helping Brits are definitely two different people. I don't know... I don't know, um... Why people think they're not two different people. I'm pretty sure Paul has played on Helping Brits' account, like, at some point. But they're definitely two different people. Either that or Paul is playing on two different computers right now. <laughs> Which is pretty impressive. Now you can use Molotovs to burn those bastards. Flamethrower positioning right there forces helping Brits to make a full retreat. But the sniper is doing quite well. 11 kills in 5 minutes. That is very, very good. Z 
Map control, on the other hand, not so super good. That's it! Fully reinforced! We've done it! Sneaky conscripts looking for opportunities against the sniper, which they may get. The sniper's very close to that squad, and they're in their retreat path potentially. They get spotted though by these friends, and they're not reacting to this opportunity. I think that was kind of a missed opportunity there. Now they're too wounded to do anything serious. Way too late. Might even get wiped. Two grands focusing them down. Sniper doesn't quite take the shot though. They will get away. Maybe. <laughs> Why can't I feel my legs? Yes, okay, they will get away. If Sniper had taken a shot, maybe not though. Going for the cutoff right here and restoring control of the south fuel. Still just three grins, a sniper, and Pyos, nothing else. Tier two's up and a scout car is in production. Wait, a squad of cons did get wiped, I think? Grenadier squad at full strength. Yeah, one of the five cons has been wiped. I, I missed it again. I missed it again. I am the worst observer. That's a rough opening for Volpine, but he does have quite good map control because of his build. He's now four cons, two combat engineers, which is still a very good core. Not the end of the world. Up against a scout car, he'll be pressured into teching AT grenades. In addition to the two upgrades he's already purchased, he's also going tier two, so he's gonna slow down on the production now. I showed the wipe, I just didn't say anything. Okay, I was probably glancing at chat really quick. Good, I'm glad it was on screen. <laughs> My subconscious caught the wipe. Picking up the slack. Whoa, sniper just retreated. Instead of soft retreating, it's a big volley on that retreat, but he's okay. Still no healing. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, just kidding. There's healing in the base. Helping Brits working on taking control of the north munitions and fuel as the center VP. Big push by Conscript straight towards the middle again. We'll take uh, building control again. Scout cars on the field, but being very careful just in case of AT grenades, which are teched. That grenade! Oh, 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 oh. I caught that one on screen. <laughs> That's another conscript squad wiped. Very sneaky play over the building corner. Tier 3 up. This tier 3 unit needs to hit the field hard. Just shock helping Brits. Maybe pick up the sniper, pick up a squad of Grens, maybe take out the scout car. There's a lot of potential for a T70 or an M5 to. Uh, impact the game, but there is an AT gun out in preparation already. Teller mine could help solidify helping Brit's defensive line. Solidify his lead. The enemy has cut off a sector. Let's just take a look at kills. 37 of 13. Yikes. Oh, whoa! I wasn't expecting that. Partisans, I was like, wait, what? What was that? <laughs> Partisans, okay. Partisans locked in and fielded out of this little shed. Pop up behind the scout car with the Panzer Shrek and take that out. 
But that means Partisans is locked in against elite troops. I wonder how that's going to go. He just chose Partisans to give himself a bit of a boost here in the early game, but he just also the lost a full squad somewhere. Squad. Damn it. There. Here. Grand's wiped it on retreat. Squad of conscripts by the building. He needs Partisans to... Uh, to completely turn this game around and shut his opponent down hard, or he's in a lot of trouble. He might have a wipe opportunity right here. Flamethrower working on the Grands are very low, about to retreat over red cover. Uh, no snipe. They do get away. Even disengaged. He should have gone for that wipe. He should have chased. If there was any chance of turning this game around, he needs all the wipes he can get. Grenade dodged right there. Flamethrower's gonna retreat through Grenz. Maybe. Not making any movement to try and pick that up. Got other things to micro right now, I guess. I think that was an easy wipe if he had just gotten off one more volley. Flamethrower makes it to safety. M5 is about to hit the field. Battle Phase 2 is in production, so even though he's gone with the lead troops, he's not going to try and stall for Tiger Ace, which would be a silly thing to do when in this much of a lead. I'm going to try and get out some sort of Tier 3 unit to apply additional pressure. Sniper has 21 kills in 12 minutes. Had a very good impact in a very short amount of time. Enemy forces are attempting to capture our territory. Squad makes another miracle escape right there. A lot of G43s purchased on these Grenadiers to help in medium range engagements like this one. Here comes the M5. Sniper immediately retreats upon hearing the M5 coming. Grin sticking around to try and maybe get a Faust off, but he cancels that because he doesn't, doesn't like the situation he's in. He pulls everything to safety. No munitions for the <laughs> for the uh, quad upgrade, so he was kind of kind of bluffing a little bit with this M5, but it was successful. Convincing his opponent to make a full retreat. We will get back control of this area, get control of the house. Again, starts working on the right side, strategic and fuel points, and is throwing down some mines. Mines have excellent comeback potential, by the way. If you're behind, a mine can, can get a lucky wipe, and maybe even pick up an important vehicle. So, oh no! No! <laughs> Speaking of which. M5 drives right over the teller mine right there, and Volpine is right back down to square one. We are losing supplies to the enemy. Another M5 in production. He's going all in on light vehicles. If this M5 doesn't do it, the first one couldn't. This game might be over. Panzer IV is going to be out. Maybe soon. He didn't build the tech structure. But I assume that's his plan. Or Austin. Either way. Sniper's up to 26 kills. A lot of late retreats on Grands, but they have been getting away. I think a lot of his micro attention is going into just this sniper picking up kills left and right. His kill rate has slowed down over the last five minutes, but it's still doing really well. 26 in 14 minutes is not bad. By any means. A T gun moving to take shots at that half track. Sniper providing vision. <laughs> and there it goes. Stun Grenade, if there was any doubt as to whether or not he had gone Elite Troops, it's removed now. Stun Grenade and G43 means Elite Troops has for sure been locked in, not like Lightning War. Some other random commander with G43s. The squad of infantry has been killed. Death before retreat. 
Oh! There goes the sniper to partisans coming out of the building. But a squad of conscripts wiped in exchange. The sniper definitely paid for itself over the course of this game. And although it's gone, he may not need it that badly anymore. He's in a huge lead. He has a infantry corps that can easily compete with his opponents. And he's got plenty of anti-tank preparation. His tier 3 structure is up. And he will very soon have the resources for a Panzer IV. Enemy forces are Just a matter of turning the map control back in his favor now, and he has the tools to do so. <laughs> I think a squad of Grens just got wiped on that mine. <laughs> wow, okay, that was lucky. Gren squad just disappears. G43 is working on the partisans. They're going to focus them down quick. They better retreat. Around the corner, barely get away. Supply lines have been cut. Stun grenade into the house. Double stun grenade. Ooh, that's pretty good damage, in fact. He moves his G43s into this retreat path. If this stuff doesn't retreat immediately, it's in serious danger. He's choosing to stick this engagement out and just hoping his flamethrower will win it for him, which it might. The Grands appear to be focusing on the Partisan Squad, tanking the damage for him, so... Hummingbirds doesn't like it, and he will retreat. Oswind instead of Panzer IV, even with the AT Partisans on the field. Interesting choice. He sure is maintaining good map control, despite his... You have orders? Despite how very behind he is. He picked up a sniper, he got a lucky mine versus a Grand Squad, so he might even be able to hold on to some of this map control. But the Ostwind is gonna... Present issues of its own. We are losing supplies to the enemy. Very liberal use of stun grenades. And rifle grenade on top of that. That was close. Austin hit a mine. It's got to pull back for repair, so it's not going to have the impact he wanted it to, but the G43 Grens are doing just fine. They're going to take control of the cutoff, and center VP is still under his control. And I definitely think Helping Brits has the stronger late game here in Elite Troops versus uh, Artisans. But it's gonna be a while before a Tiger Ace, and Hoping Rich just can't seem to get the map under his control. He's only got 180 VPs left. Sunday Night Fights just subscribed. Aw, oh, Amy, thank you. Thanks for the sub, I really appreciate that. Now Amy may drink freely from the Romeo mug. Quad wipe right there. Grins just got wiped in the building. Helping Briss was off to an incredibly strong start. He was picking up huge kills. He took out two M5s before they did anything. And now he's just getting bullied off the field by partisans. Picks up a flamethrower squad right there in exchange, though. Really late retreat from Bullpine. Well, no retreat at all, in fact. Austin fully repaired, or at least repaired enough to re engage. Makes his way back onto the battlefield, trying to snipe conscripts where possible. Needs to be careful of the Panzer Shrek blob there, though. Or buddies, I should say. Wow. In conjunction with Mark Target, that is dangerous. Also needs to be careful. I think one more shot and it's dead. Oh no, they're gonna get wiped, though. G43 is gunning them down in the road. Overextended.
Targeting of vehicles at enemy forces are neutralizing a sector. The enemy is down to 100 points. 100 points SC left. 76 ready for action. 100 points, man. I can't believe how close Volpine or er, Helping Brits is to losing this game. He had one of the strongest early games I can even imagine. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. My microphone fell over. Okay, everything's fine. And one of the strongest early games I can even imagine. Enemy forces are attempting to capture our territory. And yet here we are. Wow, that Austin might even go down. MG42, late game MG42 fielded to save the day, suppresses the entire blob, and another Austin down, plus protective AT gun with that SU-76 from finishing that Austin off with one more shot. That was dangerously close. The timing of that MG42 and second Austin could not have been more clutch. That shuts that push down hard. Fresh squad of Partisans fielded out of this building to keep the victory point clock ticking, though. He's only got 75 points left. He needs to, he needs to take this game. He needs to seal the deal here. Or at least push his opponent off the map in a meaningful way. Get some protection up on the flank of VPs, maybe some bunkers or something. Those Partisans are just going to keep popping out of buildings and bleeding him. Enemy forces capturing supply sector. Any realistic possibility of that engagement <laughs> being one and they get wiped. More of our troops have been lost. And support was so close to arriving too. He could have just hidden and waited for the rescue team. Kind of a shame. G43 is now are the ones who are sticking around way too long. We are losing supplies to the enemy. Like they're gonna get away though. Austin on its way to counter both Austins on their way. Painfully little priority being given to the capture of VPs here by Pios and Grens capturing fuel and munitions when a v the VP situation is getting really down to the wire. Austin can't circle straight, there's not enough room, goes up in flames to the SU-76, AT guns are too slow to find their line, they will win just with sheer numbers, Panzerfaust finishes the job and the Austin is uncountered, cleaning up all these infantry in the south except for by this partisan squad. Oh, this has been such a sloppy engagement though, those AT guns are just floundering around in flames and under fire, taking heavy damage. The Grens are wounded, the Austwin has its engine damaged. Enemy forces are capturing Meanwhile, in the north, Grenadiers should be able to get this VP captured away from just a squad of combat engineers, but Partisans are on their way to take the center VP. I don't know if there's anywhere where they, they can camouflage, though. Otherwise, that MG is just going to force them away, I think. Molotov coming in from the south flank. MG has to retreat. Is he going to be triple capped? He's going to... No, he's... No, he's got the north. But he's still losing victory points. He can't... Hold them. And I don't think he can afford to flow manpower to go to Tiger Ace either because he's going to run out of time. Enemy forces are neutralizing a sector.
Man, Partisans are just saving Volpi in this game. He has relied on them almost exclusively. His entire army the is Partisans. <laughs> His whole army is Partisans, except for these four guys. He's the only non-Partisans left. Three Ostwins to counter Partisans does not seem to be working so far. Oh man, I think this might all die. Engine damage right there to try and save the day. I don't know what these AT guns are doing though. I don't know, Austin falling low to that Panzer Shrek fire. If these Austins don't switch targets to take out the anti-tank squad, we might lose some tanks here. Partisans retreat with one man remaining. More anti-tank partisans fielded out of the house as the wounded ones retreat. This one is marked and looks like it will go down to one more Panzer Shrek shot. Here it comes. I won't he fire. There it is, right across the road, and the Austin it explodes. More conscripts and minesweeper moving up to take out the AT guns right here. This is all falling apart. This couldn't be going worse. AT gun cleared. Second AT gun dangerously low. Those partisans get wiped, and the clock will be stopped with only 31 points remaining. Partisans popped out of this building, even could put helping Brits in a dire situation. Rather than doing that, it will send a wounded squad towards the north to get the clock ticking that way. Partisans here. The enemy is encroaching on our territory. If a Tiger Ace hits the field before time runs out, it will be danger like pretty much uncountered. But 31 VPs left. You'd have to wait four minutes without spending manpower on anything. I think that's a pipe dream. Gonna have to win with what he's got. He's off to a good start since he just wiped a partisan squad somewhere up here. D43 squad found the wounded squad capping and picked it up. The AT blob is making its way through the south, trying to skirt past the MG42, and it gets by without being suppressed. Ostwind is close enough to be repaired that it could move to re-engage, but against this much Panzer it would be dangerous. Molotov into the house to try and force away the MG42. It will pack up and try and reposition to safety. The anti-tank blob is moving to fire on the Austrian. The MG42 is packing up right next to the house with the eight partisans inside. It has to retreat. The Austrian takes a huge volley and also has to pull back to safety. Along with those friends. And probably also this squad since they cannot fight this much on their own. There they go. I was working on the Ostwind. Fortunately, there's a Vet 3 squad defending VP in the south, Vet 3 squad defending the VP in the north. A lone squad of partisans would probably not be sufficient to chase either one of them away, and if he places them inside the courthouse, he might even fool his opponent into spawning in, in an occupied building. Not in this case, though. Nice reaction. Molotov into the house. Won't do anything. They're getting gunned down by those G43s so quick. That is a completely failed attempt to harass the South VP squad. Has no chance. Conscript squad moving to harass here in the north. G43s may need to get out of the building into closer range to force them away or delay capture of this sector. Austin goes back in on the partisan blob and the MG42 is positioned well this time. To suppress half of it. And they have to retreat. This engagement cannot possibly be won. Rifle grenade to take the engagement in the north. Almost wipes that squad in as well. This would be a huge opportunity for the Austin to dive and inflict massive damage on these wounded squads. Partisans fielded out of the courthouse, chase off that Grenadier squad. Only barely getting away, keeping control of the victory point up there, but the clock is still 
ticking and helping Brit's favor, Austin on its way to counter. All manpower just sunk Our into reinforcement here in the base. Like this is it. This is the end. Austin goes down, but it's Enemy just a moral victory. His manpower is gone. His forces are shattered. When it mattered most, Volpine <laughs> couldn't quite Enemy seal the deal, helping Brit successfully lines. executed against him at all Our victory points. We'll take total control of this game, and it looks like he's finally going to start floating up to that Tiger Ace to put the final nail in the coffin. I don't think this T-70 has what it takes <laughs> to save the day. <laughs> that T-70 is tasked with suicide mission. Working on a bunker. A sector has been cut off. Good luck, have fun. He also says wow for some reason. I was always surprised at the beginning of the game. Wow! Have fun, 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 have fun. Wow! That's Paul, in my experience. A minesweeper squad is going to try capture of the south. <laughs> Oh no, they're just getting some strategic points back. All right. Volpine certainly has time. He has time. He doesn't have much of anything else, but he does have time. Not sure what he's going to do with it, though. Hands are fast for next. T-70 takes engine damage, and an AT gun is on its way. I'm trying to figure out something sneaky with these partisans. Austin coming down the road. <laughs> that squad just got wiped. There's engine damage. They have two Shreks. Oh no! I think that Austin's gonna go down. Man, Austin's just were not the right call. <laughs> they just did not work. They have died so. Just three Austin's down the drain for those AT partisans. I could have just spammed nothing but G43 Grens and fared better, but I don't think there's any realistic possibility of him losing this, even with three Austrians dead.
Was it four? I don't think so. Am I not able to count? Oh wow, it was four. <laughs> four Ostwins have died, excuse me. That is terrible. <laughs> Triple cap restored, the clock continues to tick. Each of the Vulpines pushes more desperate than the last. This game is happening live, Kite. The timer at the bottom provides no real information. Way. The double Shrek squad is trying to get off the of volley, which it does. Both shots connecting against the rear armor. Panzer IV may suffer engine damage from an AT grenade. Oh, it doesn't even have the munitions for that. Panzer IV moves to try and take out the T-70. More anti-tank partisans field it out of the structure. MG-42 is pointed right at it, though, and they get suppressed. Panzer IV pops smoke, so it will definitely get away safely. Helping Briss will maintain control of the North VP. Everything's retreating. The triple cap will continue. T-70s aren't working any better than Ostwins were. <laughs> Panzer IV getting, getting a little bit of work done, though. We have an isolated sector. I'm just gonna make another one. <laughs> And I guess there was really no intention of Tiger Ace this game, or if there was, he couldn't he couldn't afford to risk it. Even now, he's not gonna float towards it, he's just gonna get another Panzer IV. Engineer standing by. But he certainly made heavy use of the stun grenade and G43s. T70 light tank has arrived. Panzer IV is engaging against AT partisans, which are getting sliced down easily. Drop a Shrek, even. Be restored to the fatherland where it belongs. <laughs> Helping Brits has not even purchased any Panzer Shreks this game, but there's four of them that are floating around on the battlefield. D70 goes down to the full health Panzer IV. Triple Pine continues to be completely locked in his base with no hope of recovery. Just clawing for 31 VPs that are so far out of his reach. So near. Yet so far. And he will make no further desperate attempts to capture VPs that are beyond his reach. Helping Brits takes game one of the series, but only with a 31 VP victory. So Volpine wins in game two. There's a very good chance of faction selection. GG. Helping Brits wins.